10 years ago, a new breed of celebrity was born. Reverse performance could also be a last. But these weren't the usual suspects. We laid the foundations for the beast that has become reality television. They were accidental heroes. I look like such a tool. <laughs> <laughs> you run, Sabs. <laughs> Let's return to the cruise. Travelers on a cruise ship have one thing in mind. And the galaxy was no different. It wasn't just the passengers. Y'all, Lexington, Kentucky. I'll just leave it at this. It's a good place to be single. But for the couples on board, it can be testing. It wasn't right. I knew it wasn't going to be right. It was bloody horrible. <laughs> she really hates me, isn't it? <laughs> and for new romantics Jane and Henrik, there was one exam that can't be avoided. A mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm surprised Henrik didn't turn round and run back to airport. It was 1998's The Cruise. Two thousand people corralled onto a boat with little to do and very little on. Things happen on ships which are just you would never do on land, and you end up with people also that you would never look twice at on land. Inhibitions go out the window. You've got people on that ship that are having two boyfriends at the same time, or two girlfriends at the same time, or you know. It's, it's, it never stops. Staff were forbidden to fraternise with passengers. There was one guy, he was caught in the jacuzzi with a passenger naked. So needless to say, he was off the ship the next day. But that only served to make it more exciting. Lexington, Kentucky. Let's, y'all, Lexington, Kentucky. And what's your name? Once again, without going into detail, I got plenty of action. I had some young ladies in my cabin and the staff captain caught me on the way to my cabin. Really, it's supposed to be immediate dismissal, but I was, uh, I was in as good graces at the time. Scotty was not afraid to court danger, or anyone, in fact. Once again, please join us on the dance floor. Enjoy your time. He had it on good authority that Mrs. Wright was waiting for him somewhere. I'm, I'm standing out here and I'm talking to all these beautiful couples that just got married and taking their vacation of a lifetime and they're all romantic and everything. Hey, the good Lord's got something planned. He'll set me up with the right one. Scotty hopes she'll be waiting for him in paradise, or at least at some waterfalls in Mexico. Yep, Scotty spotted Jane on a Galaxy Group excursion. She's got more to worry about than gushing water. He was just Scotty the DJ, not thinking for one minute, because he's very touchy-feely with me. Scotty was going for cruise diva Jane McDonald. You kissed my head off. That wasn't bad. That's quite shocked me watching that back, thinking, get off. <laughs> From behind the camera, producer Chris Terrell didn't fancy Scotty's chances. And the thing about Scotty was he was so um, ebullient and so energetic and so needing of company. And that's why I think he, sort of, he came on very strong to people. I hated being by myself. I still do to this day, you know. I cannot hide what I'm feeling at a certain time. And there she is rolling her eyes. So that's the famous look you were talking yes. about. <laughs> I'm trying to be, yeah, and he's driving me up the wall. Yeah, you know, I probably crossed the line a little bit. At night on the cruise ship, there were some weird goings on. Zero, zero, three. Zero, zero, three. The ship was full of strange sensations. Oh, Jesus, I'm not in the yeah, something was stirring down below. Lord. Jane McDonald had a special relationship with the other side. Change coming up for you, girl. 
big change. You've just completely changed your way of life. It's like you've shut the door on something, bang, closed, thank you very much, moving on to something new now. But that's good. Change is good. All right, so you're moving on to new and bigger, better things now. Spiritualism has always been in our family. You know, my mother is a spiritualist. Now, it says here that you're having sleeping disorders. Are you not sleeping very well? Oh, my God, how did you know that? <laughs> I have got an un, undiagnosed um, sleep disorder. Really? Hmm. I had Klein-Levine syndrome, which is a sleep disorder, and it was diagnosed after this. And nobody on the ship knew, because I wasn't going to put it down on any application form, so I wouldn't have got the job.